pandemic has been harsh on our pockets but has had a heavier blow to the rural girls, especially these days as they are preparing to resume school. Unlike boys, raising a girl requires extra cost when she reaches adolescence. Menstruation and sanitary pads to some are not a big deal, while to the rural girls from poor families, it's a horror itself. For most girls, getting a period means additional expenses. Days away from school. Menstruation is still a topic that most girls feel embarrassed to talk about. The alternatives such as toilet papers and drugs that poor rural girls use be extremely dangerous to their health. Having to buy sanitary pads every month strains most of the rural families financially. Others are forced to wear a pad for extended periods of time because they cannot afford to buy more. Rural girls risk getting different infections like bacteria, eugenesis, urinary tract infections, and toxic shock syndrome. Besides all this, it is the stress they bring. They are always not sure if they are covered and fear being publicly humiliated for leaking. On average, a girl will spend 6.5 years of her life in her periods and has to use 10 pads per period. Six packets in a term, which is 24,000 Ugandan shillings, 4.72 pounds in her lifetime. This adds up to 4,560 pads. 
packet of disposable pads costs 4,000 Ugandan shillings, ranges from $5 to $10, which adds up to $18,171. And this doesn't include pain medication, liners, new underwear, it is a a study done by the UN Children's Fund estimates that 10% of African girls don't attend school during their period. Why reusable pads? Cut costs. They can last several months, saving parents their mega income. Preserve the environment. Easy to use. They can be washed and used over and over again. No girl should have to miss school, risk their health, or compromise their dignity due to menstruation. How beautiful it is when a mother sees a visible sanitary pad for her daughter.